Oh, go box clips. Well, let's let's go over there and have some fun with that. Now I'm plugged into um, what we call market replay. This is synonymous with market playback. If you hear either of those two words, market replay or market playback, these are synonymous. Back in Ninja Trader 7, they used to call it uh, market replay. Now they call it playback. However, they still refer to the data itself as market replay. So it becomes a little bit confusing. Make sure you understand that we go over this in the market replay section. But while we're here tonight, if you're wondering, well, how am I sitting here with trades here after hours? This is another great way of how our system has advantages that you trying to sit there and trade with a naked chart, you have no advantage there. You can't do market replay like we can. We can literally market replay anytime we want. We can practice on the weekends. We can practice intraday. This is how you do it. So you want to set this up and you've got two options here. You can use the historical data. Historical data is data that you already have on your system because if you connected um, to live markets today, then your computer downloaded all of that data, which is just at the end of the day, it's one stream of data. It is quantity, price, and time. That's it. That's it. That's the only three things that are streaming to your computer. So as a computer programmer, you need to think in those terms, what do we do with that three column wide data? Okay. That is uh, thinking like a quant, understanding what you're getting to your PC. Now, the historical data is stored in files on your machine, and that's there every single day. Now, what is market replay data? There is a difference. Market replay data is you can have level one, level two data. I'm not going to get into that here tonight. But in general, you are going to want to be using historical data with us because it's just faster to load. However, if you needed to go back, like, let's say, six months ago and you wanted to trade a specific day, you would want to go download that market replay data from NinjaTrader. And it's very easy to do that. You can do that in their interface, but I'm not going to teach that here tonight. Just know that you can do that. And right now I have this pressed. Uh, I'm pressing play and you can speed it up or slow it down. Right now I am running at approximately 6x and you can see the time of day that it's running 2:20 a.m as of today this is a monday and i'm gonna actually run this to 9 a.m here in a few minutes let's go and see if we can find some of those so in my market replay i'm going to go to if you right click anywhere in the uh in this area if I, let me press control four here i think i uh, kind of try to use that more helps me to uh zoom and move at the same time all right can i right click this yes there we go so go to, this is the go to feature. I'm going to click on go to, and I want to change this. I want to go to uh, 9 a.m. All right, I'm going to press OK. So that should get our charts to where we want it to be. Give that a moment to uh, do some calculation. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learned.